This is a video on how to install Ninja View and get started with its basic usage. Go to ninja-view.com and click on Guide. Create or sign into a NinjaTrader account. You can open an account or go to login if you already have one. If you haven't installed the application, then you're going to have to download it right here in additional options. Click Download Desktop Platform. If you've already done that, you can go to Import License Key. Here's where you would import your already existing license key. You can get one from Apex or Elite Trader Funding. Additionally, I think you can also get one from Top Step or you can pay for data through NinjaTrader. I signed up for an Elite Trader Funding account just to show you an example of how to set this up. So I'll go to Elite Trader Funding. Sign in. My info. Trader dashboard, and under Ninja Trader, you're going to have your license key. You can copy this key. Go back to ninjatrader.com. Import the key. Paste it here. And click import. It should say successfully saved. Now you can close those two windows. After you've finished downloading NinjaTrader, log into NinjaTrader. Configure connections. I've already logged into NinjaTrader. Now we're going to configure the connections. Click on the connections tab, configure, and select Ninja Trader. It will depend on which prop firm you're using. It will also depend on which broker you have. But if you're using Trade Ovate or Apex, then you can select Ninja Trader. If using Elite Trader Funding or Top Step, look on their website to see how to sign in with them. But for this example, we'll use Ninja Trader. Add it to your connections. Replace the connection name with your own connection name, like Tradivate or Apex, for instance. Type in your username and password, click Apply, then click OK. Next, you can click on the Connections tab and connect your prop firm or simulated account that we just set up. For this one, I'm using an account I had set up earlier. Once the connection is made successfully, you're going to see a green circle on the bottom left of NinjaTrader. Now that it's connected, we can download the extension and the NinjaView application. Download the application and Chrome extension by going to ninja-view.com and click the Download tab. If you haven't downloaded the application, click on NinjaView application. While that's downloading, we can also download the Chrome extension by clicking Chrome extension. You will be redirected to the Chrome Store. Click on Add to Chrome. When that is complete and the extension has been added to your browser, be sure to pin it so that the icon is now visible in the extension icon tray. Before we continue any further, we need to make sure that your ATI port for NinjaTrader is enabled. This may be disabled by default, so be sure to enable it. If the ATI port is not enabled, NinjaView will not work. Select Tools in NinjaTrader, go to Options. Here you will see Automated Trading Interface. Be sure to check mark the box right here. 
The port should be 36973, and for the default account, you can use any account you want. Click Apply. Click OK. Now that everything's set up, we can open up our Ninja View installer or the application for Windows. Open up the password text file. This will contain the password Ninja for the installer. A password is used here to prevent people from injecting files into our secured setup. The password is lowercase n-i-n-j-a but may change in the future so be sure to read the text file in case any changes occur. This text file also says that, after installing and opening NinjaView, you will be presented with a hardware ID. This hardware ID will need to be emailed to support at ninja-view.com. Additionally, we ask that you provide your email used to sign up, along with the activation key so we can process your serial number as quickly as possible. After opening setup.exe, read through the agreement and if you agree to the terms, then accept the agreement. Remember the password is ninja, all lowercase. You can choose to create a desktop shortcut. After the setup is complete, you can launch NinjaView. When launching NinjaView for the first time, a message box will appear saying, Activate Software. You can copy this hardware ID and email it to support at ninjaview.com. Please be sure to also include the email you used when signing up. After providing a valid serial number, you will not be asked to do this again as the serial number will be saved to your config text file. A message box will appear saying software activated successfully. The NinjaView application will be located in your system icon tray on the bottom right corner. You can either choose to run it just like this with no additional steps or take the time to sign up for a free Grok account. If you choose to use it with default settings, you will be assigned a random temporary Grok URL address. This address will change with every fresh start of NinjaView. So it is recommended to create a free Grok account in which you will be assigned a permanent Grok webhook URL that can be used over and over again. Let's connect using the default settings for now. When starting your webhook connection for the first time, you will be prompt to enter the email address used when subscribing to NinjaView. After entering a valid email address, this information will be saved to your config text file and should not pop up again. This step, like the activation key, is a one-time thing. Now that we are connected, a message box will appear in Grok Tunnel available at a temporary URL. URL has been copied to clipboard. At this point, you can push OK. Don't forget to save your link somewhere. Let's jump right into the strategy. This strategy uses an OCO market order. So it'll place a market fill order long or short, and then it'll place a stop and a take profit. For this demonstration, I'll go on the 5 second chart so we can see this thing fire off quickly. Right click. Select Add Alert. Select your strategy and delete the contents of message. Well, first, let's paste our ingrock URL so that we don't lose it. Hit Notifications. Select Webhook URL. Paste your assigned ingrock URL. Go back to Settings. Here you will use Strategy Order Alert message to fire your alerts. This is so our alerts will only be generated when our strategy enters or exits a trade and does not misfire. You can also use the JSON payloads provided on the website, but for this example, I am using the strategy alert message system. Remember, I am using the 5 second chart for demonstration purposes only, and the 5 second chart may fire off rapidly or incorrectly because of how fast the candles appear on the chart. This is because my long condition is specifically set to TA change when candle is greater than close or less than close. So basically, we will get an alert fired any time that the candle moves either up or down. 
For this demonstration, I will also be using Trade Copier. Because why not? Here I have account Sim, X, Sim, Z, and a demo Tradivate account. Click Create Alert. Oops, I forgot to close my open positions. Let's flatten those accounts before this alert fires. The alert fired. Oh no, it's firing too quickly, lol. When it rapid fires too quickly like this, I'm sure you can understand that rightfully you may encounter issues. The orders were placed successfully. But it was a mess. That's TA change on the 5 second chart for you. I'd like to remind you that we offer free options and future alerts in our Discord server. However, it's important to note that we are not responsible for any trades or losses resulting from the use of the programs or information we provide. Our programs, indicators, and alerts are intended for educational purposes only. Your actions, clicks, or decisions are entirely your choice, and you are under no obligation to read or utilize the information we provide. Without further ado, let's conclude this setup video by using the extension. Please refresh your TradingView page to allow the NinjaView extension to connect with your TradingView account. Once the connection is successful, a green checkmark will appear. Afterward, navigate to the extension by clicking on the pinned Ninja icon. Auto Trade, which operates without the use of a webhook, is currently disabled due to ongoing updates in TradingView. In its place, we have the webhook feature, which is actually the faster method for placing orders and is preferred over the older method. Note that when using the NinjaView webhook, there is no need to have the extension installed. The extension, which was primarily used for the auto trade feature, currently disabled temporarily, is now mainly employed for manual trading directly on the trading view chart with the trade copier until further notice. To use manual trade, click on manual trade. You may need enable it once or twice. When the new window appears, it can be moved nearly anywhere on the TV chart so that you can see your chart clearly. It can go top, bottom, or to the side of the chart. For this demonstration, we will again use Trade Copier. Because, why not? The accounts will be SIM1 and SIM X. And there you have it. This concludes the NinjaView setup video. We plan on creating more videos in the future, so stay tuned and remember to check for updates regularly as we are constantly improving our programs. We also have plans to expand NinjaView's capabilities to work with even more brokers in the near future. If you would like to see more content, please feel free to contact us and we'll be sure to create additional videos.